Hello, everybody. <laughs> things to do today since I got off work. This staying late shit that I've been doing, I've been staying later to help out with people, but I can't do that shit no more. I got a career to start and I need more time for that. I've been applying like a motherfucker every day. I promise you I've been sending at least three, four, five, six, seven applications every day. Like last night, like yesterday was Sunday and I didn't send an application all day. And right before I got back, I was like, damn, I ain't sending no applications. I can't go to sleep without sending none. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do one. Okay, I'm gonna do another one, since another one. Okay, I think I can do one more. <laughs> like, I just could not stop, cause I was like, uh-uh, I can't. I was like, I just cannot not send some applications. Cause I hate going to this place so much. Like, waking up so early is ridiculous. I keep telling myself, maybe if I go to another department, just get out of the department I'm in, cause it ain't shit. And like, do something that use, utilizes my degree and stuff like that, but it's like, nah, this place legit just not motherfucking worth it, for real. Like, it's just not worth it. So, ooh, I think I made a mistake. I don't think I was supposed to turn up here, but I still can. <laughs> so first stop is this Goodwill Donation Center. I really don't know how this works, so I guess we shall see. Oh, you go, you go you drive up around there? I don't know. I'm gonna just follow suit, because I don't fucking know. Oh yeah. Yeah, so first things first, let me get these two bags of clothes out of my trunk. The last time I had bags of clothes in my trunk, I was I had them clothes in my trunk so long, I forgot what was in there, what was not. Oil has spilled on it, so I just threw that shit out. So this time, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that, and then and then go to the bank, pull some money, so I gotta do that. And there's a couple other things I gotta do, but I'm not gonna remember until I look at my list. And my list is on my phone, and guess what I'm recording off of? Mm. So yeah. Okay, so after this and then going to the bank, I just checked my list. All I got to do is meal prep because I didn't meal prep yesterday. I was supposed to when I didn't and apply to more jobs. So I'm gonna just record when I get home. <laughs> well, I got off the phone because I thought I was gonna talk to my man, but that's not happening. So I guess I'm gonna do a little story time. So today at work, we got these folk that have been given a piece of everybody's job. To make a long story short, so I decided to scrap that story. Um, I'm probably gonna keep the first part just so you can understand where I was going but I'm scrapping the rest of that because it's kind of pointless to talk about the moral of the story is the people it's not necessarily the job so the part of the story that does matter is that we got a whole bunch of different departments in this one department this guy is a supervisor of he made his department take a piece of everybody else's job to make it seem like his department is more than what it really is because the general manager doesn't like the department and wants to get, it, get wants to get rid of it and if he gets rid of it then there's no need for him and he's not gonna be a supervisor or anything so I can understand why he's trying to make it seem like his department do so much but they don't but they got a whole bunch of drama filled messy ass old ass pathetic ass women over there and dudes honestly the dudes really be staying out of it for the most part but sometimes one of them like indulges in the mess I, I'm not that type at all like I stay away from all the people these are the same folks that was talking about my clothes and talking about who I hang around and, just, and, and spread rumors like just worried about the wrong shit at the end of the day like we're completely worried about the wrong shit I, I i personally feel like at a certain age you have to let go of the adolescence and at 30s 40s i would think that that's the time actually i would think that that's the time before 30 really because we got money to make we got things to do so we can live a lavish life after we retire and y'all y'all on some weird type of stuff like i don't like it so like I, this morning i um I clocked in. I clocked in at 4.51 a.m. I get in line to get my little gun imprinted so I can receive, do my thing, do my thing. And these bitches behind me talking shit. It's not, it not even 4.55. I promise you it's not. It's 4.53 at best. You woke up, got dressed, clocked in. Or got here, got clocked in. And started talking shit before you could even, like, chew your breakfast. We eat breakfast at 8 something. Before you even get the breakfast, you talking shit? Why? I don't get it. That early? You, you, and talk shit about what ain't nothing happening. <laughs> like, ain't nothing, not, nothing happened yet. So I don't get it. Like, I just genuinely don't get it. And I be on here talking about these folk at my job all the fucking time. Like, I, I noticed that I've had at least two, three stories about these bitches at work. 
pathetic to me. Like, you ain't got nothing else going on in your life that you got to talk about shit like that. And that's coming both from somebody who's over here talking about them. But they made my business their business multiple times. So it's like, I'm sick of y'all. Because it's like mad sad. I go in there, I do my job, and I clock out, and I go home, and I have fun. I be applying to jobs, be hanging out my man, hanging out my friends. I be trying to get this money over here, investing myself for my future. I be traveling, I be having fun, I be going out. Like, I ain't worried about y'all when I clock out. The only reason why I'm talking about this today because it just boggled my mind that y'all talking shit at 455 in the moment. Like that when it when it when it's stuff that ridiculous, I can't help but to talk about that shit. Like why the fuck are y'all talking shit at 455 in the morning? Y'all ain't eating breakfast. Y'all y'all hangry? Is that what it is? Y'all mad? Y'all coming in here? We all gotta come in here at 5 a.m. baby. If you hate it so bad, get another job. This temporary type shit for me. This shit temporary as fuck. I ain't go to college to work at a place like this. It was just paying better than fucking Publix because that's where I was working at. So of course I'm working here. But it's still not the best and I can work anywhere else at any time. I just want to get my career started. I don't, I don't want to job bounce no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to make sure that I don't do such a thing. And I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. That's why I've been applying like a motherfucker. It is what it is. I ain't stressing it. I'm going to be out of here soon. I claim that shit because I worked too damn hard in my life. I did too damn much to be settling for a job like this. So I will not. So let me go ahead and get my mini. So I can go home and meal prep and do all this other shit. I know I'm being posted I had done. For some reason lately, all I've been wanting to do is fucking vlog. Oh, but I don't have enough time for that. So, and it's because I've been staying after to help out at the job, but I'm not doing that shit no more i am did my last week i've been volunteering my time and i've had enough of volunteering my time it's as simple as that i can't give away all my time to these people especially when i don't even plan on being here like absolutely not i don't worry about these folk because to be completely honest i'm giving them too much of my time like we already gotta wake up at a ridiculous time at three something in the morning. And then after that, we have a 10 hour shift. And then I stay after to help out. People just don't know how to drive. I feel like I completely and utterly lost where I was saying. Okay, so long story short waking up early working a 10 hour shift and staying late and going light and i was going straight to the gym but I, I, I took a break these past couple of well not consecutively but like i didn't go last week or did i go last week i don't know i don't think i went last week but i went to the gym because i just feel like i've just been stressed out and just feel like i just had no time for myself like i'm worried about getting a job so i'm like spending my time applying to jobs and i'm going to the gym and i'm working a 10 hour shift and i'm going early and staying late it's just like i've had enough like i just i need time to myself and i just don't have time to keep spreading myself thin for no reason really because it's not worth the extra time like it'd probably be worth the extra time if i stayed for like hours more like if i came in an hour before and stayed a couple hours later but who in the right mind is working 12 13 hour shift just to you know what i'm saying and the 30 30 uh 30 something minutes that i stay sometimes an hour really it's just not worth it it's not enough so it's like i'm not even gonna waste my time doing that i don't know it, i just feel like i need to get away like get away from this place like it's literally tying me down it's holding me down this whole i don't know i really don't have much to say i just always feel like i need to like vlog or say something or talk like me and talking are like this like i <laughs> love to just like express myself um and people you know are not always there to listen so i feel like the internet is listening So I feel like sometimes folk like to, I'm not going to necessarily like to hear, uh, I'm not going to necessarily say like to hear about other people's business, but in a sense have someone to talk to. Like when I be watching vlogs, I be feeling like my friend is telling me 
stories like telling me about stuff that's going on or whatever you know what i'm saying like or, or i'm hanging out with them that's why i really like vlogs especially people who, especially people who are living lives that i'm trying to get to you know so i don't know that's just me so hopefully i am somebody's like peace even though my voice is not really peaceful but once i feel like it's like white noise like just listening to someone talk and then you're just vibing you're chilling I don't know. For me, that's what it is. That's that's why I watch a lot of vlogs. Now, if I'm watching like these crazy ass people do challenges and stuff like that, okay, that's different. But if I'm watching a show, that's different. But vloggers, nine times out of ten, if I'm watching somebody, they're just purely just talking. Like they're really going anywhere, really doing anything. Like because it's realistic. Because at the end of the day, I keep saying realistically, you're nobody's life, even the richest person's life, is not so invigorating, so exciting, so much going on, so fast paced all the time. And, and especially if you not, like, if you didn't like start from the bottom to top, because those people, they did work really hard. But even so, like, if they really wanted to take off time and get away, they can. They have the luxury to do so because they worked hard to get to where they are. But some of those days, even if they go on a vacation, on that vacation, people be thinking that folks be going out and doing stuff. Folks be going to just sleep, to go lay down, to go bask in the sun, to go just drink and sit in a freaking hammock. Like, like it don't always be something like so exciting. Like, ain't nobody always going somewhere to like do a whole bunch of crazy activities. But yeah, that's all I really have to say right now. I ain't really have nothing to say for real. I just, when I get out of work, I just like to vent a little bit about the fact that I'm in there at all. But I don't necessarily want to talk about work anymore. Like, I'm gonna let this shit ride. Cause it's the same shit that happens every single day. It's the same drama, it's the same mess, it's the same people, so. And I'd never be in it, so. I mean, it's kind of pointless a lot of the times. If it's something that's a little different or something that just really irks my nerves, then that's different. But like, I can say the same things about this place every single day, but that's, at that point, it's giving obsessed you like it like get out if you hate it so bad which i'm trying so but i'm also not going to complain the whole time i'm trying to keep positive energy you know so we shall see i was supposed to vlog on the way home from work but i forgot because i was too busy trying to be on the phone and texting because a lot been going on but um so yeah i got to ordering some stuff and there's some stuff you know what i'm saying that i've been needing um and some wants and i got this little thing for my computer so I can use my SD card and my little MacBook Air because you know in the MacBook Air, ain't no ports, but the charging port. So gotta have a little converter for every damn thing. Honestly, I probably need to get another one for HDMI because I know I'm gonna wanna connect it to somebody's TV one day. Um, Then I ordered this little, I'm not gonna flip this, cute little body suit. I just needed a white one. I have a tan one, but you know, sometimes white is classy and you need it for stuff. Now this, definitely could have just peeled it instead of jacking up the box, but it really doesn't matter before i open that got me a satin lined bowl cap okay you know what i'm saying it's i don't know if you oh yeah you can definitely tell it's silky on the inside and it's got the pool strap instead of velcro because you know velcro ain't no good for the black hair i got me like a i thought it was gonna be like a satin lined beanie and i guess i could wear it as that but it's kind of like a bonnet but i think i could really pull this off as a hat it look like it look like, the, it, it look like a regular hat let's see let me put it on I really, yeah, I really could pull this off as a hat. I just wanted it better because the one I've been wearing. So this one that I got, it's sideline beanie, and it is nice. And this is like thicker type of material, like really for the winter. But this right here, because it doesn't like, this is how much it folds, right? So this right here, it's just the out of my like forehead when I have it on. When I have it on like this, because I don't want to build my hair. This part right here, every part that's not the actual beanie part or the satin part, like it just irritates me. So, like, I mean, I'm gonna have to get over it like when it's really cold because this is what's really gonna keep my head warm. But, like, if it's not that cold and I just want to put a hat on, I'm gonna do this because this is like basically all smooth material. So, that's why I got it. And I still got some more stuff that's coming. So, when it comes, I'm gonna show you, of course. But, yeah, that's really it for today. I ain't really got nothing to talk about. Nothing important, that is. I need to call my best friend. <laughs> So, of course, I forgot to record myself. Or I forgot to vlog. Yesterday when I got off work, I was too busy trying to get on the phone. But anyways, my order finally came in from Sheen. They had the little dollar festival. So, I just wanted to show y'all those pieces that just came in. I didn't even open it yet. 
So I'm gonna open it and try it on right now. <laughs> Before I get started, number one, yes, I look a mess. I want y'all to know that I bought these clothes because they were a dollar. Okay, a dollar. A dollar. I saw the dress was super sparkly. And I thought it was cute. I didn't know it had a slit all the way up the side. Like, this is a swimsuit cover-up. That's what this is. Like, the lighting is so bad, but the sun's barely up. Like, y'all, what is this? <laughs> I get it. It's supposed to be like, what is the line? Is she not sexy? But, bro. I don't even got the body for it, even if it could work. Whatever, let's just move on. Okay, so two things about this. I'm actually quite impressed, impressed by the um skirt and this top. I mean, a dollar. Um, kind of reminds me of a bathing suit. It's cute once they get real skinny, but yeah, the skirt actually is pretty nice. I mean, it has a zipper. If it didn't have a zipper, I wouldn't have fit into it, but it fits nice. I got everything in size medium. That's pretty usual. <laughs> Suck it in. I wish I can get a better angle, but like, and this is my phone. Okay, so. It's actually really nice. Not gonna lie. I like it. It's actually not too short for a mini skirt. Not too bad. So this is the shirt. It's really just necessarily a bra. So now this top is pretty cute. I like it. Um, a skinny girl could actually pull off this whole outfit. The leather skirt with this kind of top. The top is cute. I like it. I like all these clothes were cute for it being a dollar. Like, I think there's like one thing that I didn't pay a dollar for. It was like, I think this might be it. I think I ended up paying like $4.99 for it. I don't know. I really don't remember. But I just remember these four items being eight bucks. So, a dollar or a little bit more, eight bucks for four pieces of clothes. Seems cool to me. The skirt and the shirt are the best pieces out of it, though. So, even if I would pay eight bucks just for this, I would have been happy. You know? That dress, like I said, is going to be a swimsuit cover. -up. And that pink shirt, it's not really a shirt. And it actually kind of looks childish. So maybe if I could dye it black or something, maybe DIY that one day. But as is that shirt, that pink shirt, it's like a, I'm gonna give it like a three out of 10. Like I wouldn't wear it. It looks bubblegum poppish, kind of like a swimsuit top. Not really my style. The dress, also a three out of 10. It'd be cute if it was a little longer. If it literally, if the slit would have hit my thigh and maybe it was just a tad bit longer, it would have been a cute dress, but like it's literally not covering up anything. Like the black on the side was my thong. So, but this, this, both of these get a 10 out of 10 because it's good quality. The other stuff, it's not. So it's a hit or miss sometimes with jeans, but you know what you're getting, especially when you pay a dollar. <laughs> so, but this skirt's really nice. So everybody who got the skirt, I know you're happy. <laughs> Well, that was everything. It was just a few pieces. I didn't have much. And I just wanted to show y'all that because I've been ordering a little bit of stuff recently. Not too much because I've been trying to save my money because I got things I'm trying to do. But yeah, that was my whole week. You know, a lot of BS, drama, mess that I'm not in. Like, just to clarify. And then, but it's mostly work stuff, not personal stuff. Um, And then ordering a couple of things. I actually have one more thing, I think, coming today. But... That'll probably be shown some other time. But yeah, hope you guys got through the whole thing. <laughs> if you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, put on that push notification bell. All those important things you're going to be doing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.